The question was about uh, the new uh, inactivated or subunit varicella zoster vaccine that is licensed uh, to prevent uh, shingles or herpes zoster in the elderly. Uh, there is a paper in autologous stem cell transplants showing promising effect also in that patient cohort. And uh, what you are referring to is a commentary to that paper uh, that I co-authored. Um, and um, I think this is uh, a very interesting development uh, because the recent, the until now uh, licensed vaccine is live and can cause significant side effects. So if we can use an inactivated or subunit vaccine to do the same thing in a much better, with much better safety, it's a major improvement. It should be acknowledged that there is no data so far in allogeneic stem cell transplants. So the data we have is after autologous stem cell transplants and Soster is a slightly less important problem in the auto than in the allo setting. Well, the impact on the patients in the clinical setting is that uh, uh, Soster or shingles is a very distressing complication. Uh, it's painful. Uh, it can cause uh, neuralgic pain that sits and stays on for months or years. So if that can be prevented, it is uh, important, although it rare, it's not really a dangerous complication in most circumstances, but it's certainly a very distressing complication. So it's a quality of life thing more than, for example, a survival uh, thing.